About a bit like being chased by an animal all the time, a dangerous animal. If you stop and look round and it catches up with you, you you're done for. And I've known many patients who didn't manage to keep ahead. An adjustment on here and then carry on. So in the intervening time, just to have you explaining what it is we're seeing. Having regular imaging, um, such as the MRI. Um, having regular blood tests, keeping ahead, keeping in touch with all the medication that you need, is absolutely crucial. The extent of disease is imaged using standard x-rays. This means taking individual x-rays of every bone in the body. That's quite intensive in terms of x-radiation to a patient, but also it doesn't actually pick up disease until there's significant bone destruction. So there's not an early method of picking up disease in the marrow in myeloma. After treatment, you can't see it there at all. Do you see what I mean? This right. is before treatment, this is after mm. treatment. You see all this speckledy bit is tumour, and then after treatment, it's gone. Doing a bone biopsy is a very painful thing for a patient. Multiple bone biopsies are not something a patient would want to undergo. Also, bone biopsies are limited in that you take a biopsy from a particular area of the bone, and you cannot biopsy the whole skeleton. So having a scanning technique that's sensitive, images disease within the marrow, and looks at the whole skeleton at the same time is something that's very desirable. Are you okay there, Rodney? The table's just going to move again. Unfortunately, these things don't work forever. And since then, I've been on a, a very variety, a bit of roller coaster, various relapses and uh, back again in action. And you start getting an image kind of like this, right. where basically yeah. the dark stuff in the skeleton is the stuff that we're looking at. This is just his brain here, so there's yeah. nothing exciting to see. Um, yeah, sorry, I just... Myeloma is a disease of bone marrow that affects the whole skeleton, so you need to assess it by looking at all the bones in the body. Breathe in, breathe out. Now breathe in and hold your breath in. Breathe normally, well done. Was that OK? The battle is quite simple. You become more and more resistant to, to drug, the drugs, the specific drugs, and you've always got to be ready to, to move on. But there are at least two new generations of exciting new developments coming on stream over the next year or two. So if I can last out that long and then get on to these new, new drugs, um, then you hope, hope carries through. So the development is very favourable, the prognosis isn't so good as it stands, but I, I, I remain optimistic. Oh,